It's a busy day for the Guatemalan Maya Center here in Lake Worth Beach. The organization has received dozens of calls from people inquiring about their legal rights. Detaining him right now until ICE can come to Federal immigration officers were initially scheduled to sweep across 10 major cities on Sunday, including Miami, to arrest about 2,000 undocumented immigrants with final removal orders. We're happy that um, it wasn't a large operation that took place in our community. So far, they've only heard of two cases that fall more in line with routine enforcement. A typical traffic stop that turned into uh, ICE detention, uh, you know, a police officer pulling somebody over, arresting them, and then holding them for an ICE agent to come pick up later. This woman has been in the United States illegally for 18 years. Yeah, thank God nothing happened to um, anybody in my family, but there was um, a lot of police action in the trailer park where I live, and so we were very worried that, you know, it had something to do with ICE. She came here to work to provide for her disabled daughter back in Mexico. So what she's saying is that she would ask the president to not generalize all of us. Not all of us are criminals. Many undocumented immigrants are worried about leaving their homes and risking arrest. Like this woman who's lived in the United States for 14 years. She has four children. Some of them were born here, but she is not a citizen. Back in Guatemala, there's a lot of violence and a lot of um, difficulties there. So all we can do is keep working and, and trusting God. The Guatemalan Maya Center is also trying to educate undocumented immigrants of their rights, including the right to remain silent and their right to a lawyer. Reporting from Lake Worth Beach, I'm Gianna Caserta, WPBF 25 News.